Yo, what's going on guys? Um, some of you guys still wondering if you can use Raven Eye and some other wireless transmitters. Let me show you that you can and how I did it. So right here, you guys see Mars 300 Pro and it has a loop out. Um, so I would have HDMI feeding to it and from it, it will go into my Raven Eye. Okay, and let's turn this a little bit around. Also, there's a wireless audio from my R6, Canon R6. So here's a Raven Eye hooked up. Focus motor, Raven Eye motor. Now, hold on. Okay. Now let me show you that Raven Eye works. Okay, shut that off. As you guys see, Raven Eye works right there. I got monitor right here. Everything connected together wirelessly. Uh, v mount battery feeds pretty much the whole thing. And then gold mount battery feeds camera and everything on top of it. Um, now, let's get to my little setup right here. As you guys see, you got a follow focus right here. which need to be calibrated, but you can see it works. I'm connected to a HoloLand transmitter right now on this tablet, but normally I will have the phone that I'm recording with right here. And this is not everybody have access to this joystick. This is from my tilt to float that I purchased, which is this bad boy. I'm just sitting there looking pretty right now. Um, so imagine you don't have this, right? You put your phone right here, you connect it to the Raven Eye, you connect your tablet to the HoloLand Mars 300 Pro, I believe, which is right there, Get the light on, okay? <clears throat> now you have ability to see what you're doing here, pretty good. Um, this transmitter is a little faster than Raven Eye actually, so you get better, faster view. Now with the Raven Eye, you'll have ability to control your camera settings. You can uh, click to where your entire tablet becomes a joystick. You guys know what I'm talking about. I can't remember what it's called right now. And for me, I have a full remote right here as well. <clears throat> With the Raven Eye tracking and list goes on. So yes, you definitely can use Raven Eye with something else. It's just how you do it. Now, if you guys don't wanna use this wireless transmitter there's another option that i used to use and works pretty good let me show you all you have to do is purchase this hdmi splitter so one goes in two comes out um i drill the hole and glue this little quarter 20 in it so i can mount to my camera i use it for a while um it says needs the power but actually once you connect the two different hdmi into it it powers up you don't need external power for it and it's like under $20 on Amazon so so what you would do if you only have wireless transmitter with one HDMI you basically run from camera to this split right here and then it will split up to your wireless transmitter and to your Raven eye and it works great so cheap solution um, if you guys have more questions on parts or some more detailed pictures, let me know. But that's my insane setup right here. Functional Raven Eye. Tracking. Let's try the tracking right now. By the way, if some of you guys don't know, Tracking doesn't work as great when you shoot C like three or low frame <clears throat> shots like 43 frame per second at 150. It works a lot better when you see the contrast and all that stuff. But as you see my camera tracking me all right right now. <clears throat> but yeah, here's the setup. 